The Minister of Public Safety told Canadians that he relied on the advice of law enforcement to implement the Emergencies Act. That was false. He told Canadians that the Beijing-run police stations in our country were closed, and that was false. And then he told Canadians that he didn't know about a child rapist and murderer, Paul Bernardo's transfer out of a maximum security prison. He stood in front of the victim's families and acted shocks. He knew for three months, and now he's throwing his staff under the bus. So which staff member did he fire? You're absolutely right. I stood with the families of Kristen French and Leslie Mihaffey because I have great care for them, as do all Canadians. That's why I called the commissioner to express my concerns. That's why she's conducting a review of the decision. That's why I'm issuing new instructions to the CSC. The honorable colleague refers to the Emergencies Act. I will always defend this government's decision to invoke that act. While we were working around the clock to restore public safety, what were the Conservatives doing? What was the leader of the Concerned Party of doing? He was serving up Timmy's, Mr. Speaker. In this side of the House, we will always defend law and order. If he claims he doesn't read emails, if he claims he doesn't get briefed by staff, if he claims he doesn't get briefed by his officials, if he claims he doesn't tell the Prime Minister anything, what does he actually do here? He told the families of Paul Bernardo's victims that he had no knowledge of the transfer. He pretended that he had no idea. He re-victimized the families of the victims, and he doesn't have the trust of Canadians. His own caucus can't even look up at him. Minister, there is only one option. Resign. Mr. Speaker, the events that occurred, the horrific events uh, that were a result of the, uh, the, of the absolutely heinous crimes by Paul Bernardo are something that are felt viscerally, I would say by every single Canadian, uh, that what the minister has stated, uh, this is a decision that was made by Correctional Services Canada, which acts independently. The minister indicated that when he became aware of it, uh, he indicated to Correctional Services that, 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 that he would, did not find that exception, decision acceptable, asked for it to be reviewed, and we also have asked for take a victim-centered approach going forward in corrections, and I, I want to work with the party opposite on that because I know they care as well.